The linear multiband plugin is a new improved version of C4. If you have used C4 or checked out the CSI Movie tutorial for it, you will be tweaking in no time. Like C4, it is mainly used for mastering audio, but it can be used for production tasks, such as DSing and other forensic tasks, like noise filtering. The linear multiband includes five bands in which we can control the gain and dynamics in order to compress, EQ, expand, or limit the signal discreetly from the other bands. The linear phase crossovers are transparent when not in use and provide only delay without any phase coloration. Automatic makeup and gain trim are also options of this plugin. Wii's patented adaptive threshold creates a very transparent form of multiband processing. Let's check out the controls. First, we will cover the crossovers, which are shown in the graph and in the fields directly beneath the graphic window. Here is where we define the cutoff frequencies for the five discrete bands from the wideband signal. You can also grab the graphic handles to change the crossover points. The low crossover range is 40 Hz to 350 Hz. The low mid crossover range is 150 Hz to 3 kHz. The high mid crossover range is from 1 kHz to 8 kHz. And the high crossover range is 4 kHz to 16 kHz. Note, while adjusting the crossover points, you will not hear a smooth sweep, as the intent is to set the cutoff frequency. When using the mouse, the processing will not update until the mouse is released to avoid zipper noise. There's some heavy calculation going on. Using the arrow keys to adjust the crossover fields yields the best results as the processing is updated upon each press of the key. Next are the individual band controls. For each band, there are the following controls. Threshold sets the level where the dynamics processing will begin. Gain can be used to control the band as an EQ if there is no compression or expansion applied. Range. Negative range values mean compression when the threshold is crossed. Positive range values mean that the signal will be boosted from the level of threshold. Attack sets the time it takes for the dynamics processing to begin. Release sets the time it takes for the dynamics processing to cease and the signal to return to its unattenuated state. The solo mutes all other bands other than the soloed band in order to perform some fine tweaking. Multiple solos can be active for listening to a few bands at once. And bypass, which should be used liberally to compare your processed and unprocessed audio. These controls are very similar to standard dynamics processors, except we have five at one time. The ratio control has been replaced by the range control. It simultaneously controls the intensity of the gain change as well as the limit for the gain change. The global section has global controls for the individual band controls. These are controlled by the drag markers under the word master. The other global controls are as follows. The auto trim button updates the peak value and when clicked it makes up the difference of the present level and full scale digital zero. If it reads minus two, then when clicked, it will provide exactly 2 dB of makeup gain. If clipping occurs, the light will illuminate, and when clicked, the level will be reduced the difference to full-scale digital zero. Dither adds a small amount of noise that can be switched on in the final mastering stage in order to minimize low-level distortion due to DSP processing and bit truncation. For additional detailed info on setting the dither control, make sure to check out page 12 of the PDF user guide. Makeup is the global control for all the band's gain, also called makeup gain. It can be set to auto or manual. Next is the adaptive threshold. We are sensitive to the fact that loud audio signals can mask softer ones, and loud low frequency sounds mask soft higher frequencies. With linear multiband, Wave considers each lower band the masker of the band above it, and using adaptive threshold mode allows the threshold for the band of the loud or impulsive masking audio to be lifted momentarily in order to prevent it from being too limited and also masking the frequency content above it. A detailed coverage of adaptive thresholds is beyond the scope of this tutorial, but for a more in-depth and theoretical explanation, refer to Chapter 3 of the PDF User Guide. The global release setting alternates between manual or ARC, Waves Auto Release Technology, which enables the processing to be used liberally due to its transparency. The behavior button switches between opto and electro. 
Opto has been derived from the classic opto-coupled circuit compressors that used light-sensitive resistors to control the amount of compression. It is good for heavy use and has faster release times at higher compression and slower release times as the gain reduction approaches zero. The electro setting is a waves invention that is pretty much the inverse of opto in that when the gain reduction meter gets closer to zero gain reduction, the faster it responds. Great for mastering applications. The knee setting ranges from zero, soft, to one, hard. Hard knee settings should be used for limiter applications and softer knee settings for compressor use. The output meters are next, and by now you know the drill that these are peak hold meters with clip indicators above and level status fields below them. Click anywhere in the region to reset the peak hold values. Click and drag in the value field or on or around the output fader to adjust the final output of the plug-in. Remember, Option or Alt clicking on any control returns it to its default setting. Let's check out Linear Multiband on a mix to become more familiar with its controls. Linear Multiband is a remarkably powerful multiband dynamics and EQ processor that is used commonly in the mastering process, but can also be used to affect individual tracks, such as deessing, noise filtering, and other processes. As you tweak the plugin, make sure you save your presets for later retrieval. 